Hello class, Mr. Stone here. The problem I found online today, it's fractions with negative exponents, okay? So what I did, is I put a couple rules up there. Right down here, what do you do with negative exponents, okay? You actually flip it, as you see here, you flip it, you flip them, and you change the positive, and that's all you have to do. Now, but now in the problem that I found online, you, you see they, they got parentheses around them. Okay, how do you handle that? Okay, so I put another rule up here that we got to learn. Power the fraction rule. Okay, you see how that works? I'm going to circle this. So what it really does, you got equals. I'm going to do the first one just so you can see it. This really is 5 to the negative 2 over 2 to the negative 2. Okay, and what do you do? You just flip both of them. So the 2 ends up on top with a positive 2. And the 5 ends up down the bottom with a positive 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 5 times 5 is 25. Square that off and that's all there was to it. Yeah, that was relatively easy. Okay? So hey, let's go to the next one, okay? So the next one, it would equal 3 to the negative 3 over four to the negative three equals, you just flip them. You get four to the positive three and three to the positive three equals cube root of four is 64, I know that. 64, cube root of three is 27. And that's it, square that off so the teacher knows that's my answer. And see how easy this is? So a lot of students might look and say, oh, how do I do this? But if they just learn a few of these rules, the flip it rule, the power of the uh, fraction rule, that you just can separate this, they're going to say, oh, this was real easy. Okay, now on the next one, number three, okay, this is a mixed fraction, okay? So, hey, what do you do here? Remember that? We did this in a couple other exercises. You multiply the four times the one is four, Plus the three is seven, so you get seven fourths. Seven fourths. You can leave this in the brackets just so you can see it is negative two. So that equals just like we did the other ones, equals seven to the negative two over four to the negative two. It equals you flip it, you get four to the two, seven square equals 16 over 49. Look how quick we did this. And we get an answer. Okay, now the next one, okay? So the next one, we go three times two is six, plus one is seven. So we get seven thirds, put this in the brackets, to the negative three. That equals, equals seven to the negative three over three to the negative three equals, we flip it, we get three cubed, seven cubed equals three cubed, I know it's 27, 27. Uh, seven cubed, I don't have that in my head, but just get the calculator on, you can do seven times seven times seven, you get 343. And that's it. Square that off so the teacher knows, hey, that's my answer. And that was all there was to it. This was relatively easy, huh? Um, you know another thing? Let me go back to number two. Because two could have a question. Depends on if it's multiple choice. You might not have the answer 64 over 27. Because you might have to reduce this. Okay? If you do, 27 goes into 64 two times. And what's your remain to 10? over 27, okay? So that could be another answer that could be on the multiple choice thing. I just wanted to run that by it just in case, you know, because a lot of tests are just multiple choice and you got to choose one of the answers and 64 over 27 might not be one of the given answers. They might want you to reduce this. And you all know how to do that. You know, 27 goes into 64 two times. That equals 54, so there's a 10 left over, so it's 10 over 27, okay, for your remainder. And that was all there was to it, okay? Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll help my YouTube ratings a lot. 
because uh, the more students will see it, and um, hey, they might get something out of this and might say, uh, wow, I, I remember how to solve this if they see this on an exam someday. Thank you very much. Have a great day now. Bye-bye.